we're now ready to create the first body called a T-spline body that will become the digital clay that we can sculpt into this RC car body. In the upper left hand corner of the toolbar under the create menu, there's an arrow that if you left click on it, will expand the menu showing some of the primitive shapes that can be created within Fusion. You have box, cylinder, sphere, quad ball, and several others. A box is what we'll use to create our body. If you left click on that, you'll see that the box dialog box is presented along with the origin planes. The origin planes are the center of the universe for this model. You can find them in the browser in the upper left hand corner and they're turned off by default. Fusion will turn them on as needed to assist in the construction of certain geometry. As you hover your cursor around the screen, you'll notice that different origin planes highlight depending on where your cursor is located. If you hover in the lower right hand section, the bottom plane of the origin planes will highlight. Left clicking will hide those origin planes and select that bottom plane as the construction plane. Now if you look at the dialog box, there's several options available to us. You can select the rectangle type, the direction, or the operation. The only thing we're going to need to worry about right now is the type of rectangle we're going to use to create our initial form. Instead of center point, I'm going to select two point. What this does is allows you to find two corners of the rectangle as opposed to the center point and one of the corners. I'm going to use the view cube to look at this model from the top view and orient the model in a position that helps me create this geometry. You can see if you pause your mouse and stop moving it, that the heads-up display indicates you need to specify the first corner of the rectangle. I'm going to do that by hovering over the edge of the tire and moving my cursor to the left to position the first corner just above the bumper and just in front of the front tire. I'm going to left click once to locate that corner and as I move my mouse you can see the rectangle begin to expand based on where I position my mouse. I'm going to move the cursor to just behind the back tire on the lower part of the car and left click again to create the base form. Now where you position this isn't exactly important just yet because we will sculpt and shape this box form as we continue through this project. We're still in the box command and if you hover over the view cube and select the home view, you can see the model from a 3D orientation. There's a few things we need to do to continue here. We can use the arrows to position or stretch the size or height of the box, or we can use the heads-up display to add additional faces to the box. If we go and left-click and drag on this heads-up display and move towards the plus side, you'll see additional faces are added and the shape becomes more rectangular. We want to set the length faces to four. We're going to set the width faces to four as well and we want to set the height faces to three. You'll notice that as you do that on the heads-up display, the dialog box is updated to represent those values. You could also make these changes in the dialog box if you wish. Either is perfectly acceptable. With that shape defined, we can select OK to commit those changes, and we now have the initial shape that's going to be sculpted into our RC carbine.